Weston, I'm 11 years old, and I'm from Marinette, Wisconsin. That's an hour north of Green Bay. I have ankylosing spondylitis, and that is a back condition which makes your spine curvy. So when Weston got here, he didn't have a diagnosis. He came with a complex spinal deformity um, that wasn't readily apparent what his diagnosis was. There was something else going on. There was something that was leading to this otherwise healthy young athletic boy all of a sudden deteriorating and having this fairly significant spinal deformity that just was not very straightforward. The journey for us started when Weston was in 4K. He was examined by just a, a therapist at the school he was at and the therapist came and talked to me and said, we think that your son should uh, be looked at. So we went the traditional bracing route and after about four years, they wanted to um, put growth rods in place and at that time we wanted to get a second opinion. They did not find an underlying condition even after a muscle biopsy, muscle testing. They put him through the ringer of tests and everything came back normal. Obviously Weston's not normal. So, well, <laughs> you know what I mean. So in February of 2015, we made the trip to Dallas. We saw his x-rays, uh, did a good exam, and then said we need some help because we can understand his spine deformity, but I couldn't understand why it happened this way. And so we um, sort of called some friends and colleagues uh, here at Scottish Ray Hospital, saw this whole team of people, orthopedic surgeon, the radiology team, the rheumatology team, the neurology team, and he had a diagnosis as he left this institution. Weston's diagnosis was ankylosing spondylitis, which is usually an adult diagnosis. It's a rheumatologic condition that's incredibly uncommon in children, in fact, really unheard of, and has become sort of a case report uh, that this can't happen in children. So as part of the sort of 72 hours that he spent here in Dallas, uh, I saw him on a Monday in my normal clinic, and I said, you need to come to our Monday preoperative conference, which we hold every Monday, and in that conference, every case is shown for the week that's going to get operated on. Uh, and occasionally we'll find patients in our clinic that we say, you know, we need some help. We need others' opinions to sort of get a group effort um, that uh, multiple of minds thinking about this is better. His case was presented to, I don't know, there were 20 or 30 orthopedic surgeons in that room, all eyes on my son, all that brain power working together to help our family out. We showed his x-rays. And then he comes in and he's a very outgoing young boy and so he kind of tells his story, mom tells the story, and then we spend a lot of time uh, talking about his case and figuring out, okay, what has to be done next. I've been waiting for this time my whole life because I play a lot of sports. I was a pitcher for my all-star team and my regular team. I was a quarterback for football and for basketball. I'm a shooting guard and I want to get back to all of those and straightening my spine will open me up and I can play my sports better. So Weston went through lots of traction. Um, he stayed in the hospital, mom and dad took turns in the hospital and that loosened up his spine. We did spine surgery about eight weeks later and he's done fantastic since that time. How are you? Good, how are you? You get a hug too. Good. This is the man of the hour. What's happening? Nothing. Nothing? There's always something happening. Yeah. So everything looks good? You're doing great. Yeah. For three months or so, it was just real. So, I mean, it was tough to stay positive. Yeah. yeah. And then um, that fourth month, we started to see yeah. some light. And then the last two months, we've we have a broken record, but we got our boy back. Like, Good. Yeah. I mean, mentally, physically. Good. <laughs> I'm very excited for this. Like, I've been waiting for this ever since I knew stuff was starting. And people would call me names. And just, I was really excited just to leave that all behind me. The difference in his mentality might trump the difference in his, in his um, Is that right? physical. Good. Well, that's what it's all about. Yeah. I mean, it's all about yeah. the x-rays are, you know, just a tiny, tiny bit of the story. It's, yeah. you know, how to get him back to the things he wants to do and, you know, setting the stage for hopefully never needing anything done again. Actually, let's just see you walk. 
We took pictures of him when he first got here and he was uncomfortable. He had actually significant back pain, partly because of his deformity, partly because of his underlying condition. And then we took pictures of him when he came back in. And to see the striking difference between his facial expression before and after is really gratifying. So it's fun to see Weston back. He's full of energy. He's now back playing baseball and basketball. Uh, he's not playing football, which is probably a good thing. So overall, he's doing great. And the x-ray before surgery is on the right, so looks really good. This hospital is just, I'm very blessed to be here. We just know that we definitely with the path that we've had to take to get here that we are in the right place and in the right hands. <laughs> now I can just say that I had scoliosis and that makes me feel a lot better. Good to see you. I'm proud of you, bud. <laughs>